With their shares of Century Home Builders Group and related entities, Sergio and Tatiana Pino had amassed a fortune, according to court records, a net worth in 2022 of between $150 million and $360 million. How much of that belonged to Tatiana was at the center of a dispute that Tatiana's lawyer told us last week got ugly. My client feels very strongly that he has been trying to poison her for two years before that. Sergio Pino's attorney told us there was no objective evidence of poisoning, nor she said was Sergio responsible for the torching of three cars outside Tatiana's sister's house. Four men, including one Tatiana told the FBI worked on the Pino's yacht, are in jail, charged with a conspiracy to stalk her and set those cars afire. They've pleaded not guilty. Today, at this house in Cutler Bay, a fifth man arrested by the FBI in its murder for hire investigation, as Tatiana's divorce court filing lodged the most serious allegation of all, a gunman attempting to murder her last month outside her Pinecrest home. The same home where last August, the FBI alleges a man tried to plow a truck into her car after she returned from a divorce court hearing. Tatiana's attorney wrote that Sergio's incentive to have her killed is simply their fortune. He would get it all if she died before the divorce was final. She and Sergio were due in court this week for a key hearing in the divorce, but Sergio got a delay in the case after telling the judge he was overwhelmed and distraught by the investigation into him. Today, with his suicide, an indication of how distraught he may have been. Further, that reaction coming just 24 hours after that raid here at Pino's uh, uh, very large home here in the Coco Plum neighborhood. That f raid yesterday involving agents from the FBI with those feds now revealing that raid was tied to an alleged murder for hire plot. About 6.15 in the morning, I heard about uh, five or six sounds like gunshots. And then 20 minutes later, I heard a few explosions. Federal agents swarming the Coral Gables home of 67-year-old Sergio Pino yesterday, only to find him dead from a self-inflicted gunshot. Pino, who is the founder of Century Home Builders, was one of South Florida's most prolific developers and a well-known philanthropist who served on several boards. Pino's body was covered with a tarp while being taken by the medical examiner from his Coco Plum mansion in Coral Gables. In a statement, his attorney writing, quote, the level of law enforcement activity at his residence was unprecedented and unnecessary, especially since we had offered to surrender him should that have become necessary. Here at the home this morning, you can see things are now much calmer. All of the federal agents who were here collecting evidence yesterday have now left with only one private security guard remaining to guard the home. The doors also locked at his Century Home Builders headquarters where agents served another warrant yesterday morning. A statement from his team saying this is an unimaginable circumstance to us all. Anyone who knew Sergio could attest to his ambitious character, charisma and optimism. He will be profoundly missed. Federal agents initially raided Pino's home last month searching for documents and electronics that were part of his two-year-old divorce case. The FBI confirming they've been conducting a murder for hire investigation with Tatiana Pino, Sergio's estranged wife, as the victim. At Tatiana's home, we found a Pinecrest police officer parked outside. Divorce proceedings have been underway since 2022, with court records showing Tatiana believed her husband once tried to poison her. Her attorney says she began to have unexpected health issues with several tests revealing fentanyl in her system and bath salts in her medication. She later claimed the the only known suspect was Sergio. Investigators say Tatiana was also the victim of a targeted hit and run case last year. Four people were arrested in that case. Meantime, we do know the feds also raided another property in the Cutler Bay area yesterday. That raid said to be tied to this murder for hire investigation as well. Uh, we also learned that at least four other people were also taken into custody by those agents yesterday. But at this point, their alleged involvement in this scheme is still unclear. By the way, we are expecting to get 